So hello and welcome to my channel and today is going to be a very quick and cheerful, cheap and cheerful pound stretcher haul. Uh, I keep going back in this shop, pound stretcher. Do you know what, I like it in there because there's hardly ever anybody in there so it's nice and quiet. Anyway, I have been going in for a purpose and I had an absolutely fantastic time in there this time I have to say. I got exactly what I wanted. First thing being this. Now, I have been a Mrs. Hinch fan for some time. The Zaflora bandwagon I jumped straight on the back of. Uh, then I started looking at the old, I call it Fabulosa. I've heard different people pronounce it in different ways, actually. Fabulosa was the latest one. It's wild rhubarb. It smells divine. It's really, really nice. I'm really into wild rhubarb at the moment. I'm into home bargains, uh, wild rhubarb and pear air diffuser, rediffusers. You've probably seen. Um, and this is just this is just plain rhubarb. Anyway, can you get a bottle of it anywhere now? And I don't think it's just this coronavirus. I've not been able to get it for months, months and months. All the other fragrances, just not rhubarb. Anyway. I've seen this recently in this pound stretcher, so I thought I'm going to get it. Uh, I begrudge paying 99 pence when you can buy the normal bottle of Fabulosa and, and make it yourself. But because I couldn't find it, I thought, Belinda, just grab some. Uh, anyway, so I bought some, ended up going to Home Bargains next door, and they were selling it for 89p, but hey-ho. So, bottle of that, 99 pence. I did have a route through because in Pound Stretcher they have bottles and bottles of Fabulosa. But all different types, different fragrances, some new ones I've not smelled before. But what did I find right at the back? Here she is. Just one lonely bottle of wild rhubarb Fabulosa. I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. I'm not kidding. I've been looking for this, I reckon, for four months. Uh, only one there. 99 pence. It's not very really full, is it? Uh, but you do actually get these are bigger bottles than Zaflora. So, anyway, everywhere's going mad at the minute because of this blinking coronavirus. And I dare say stuff like this won't be in the shops for long. I shall just do the token sniff. This is the only one I don't get the urge to have a little sip of. Normally I do. Oh, I love it. It's really nice. If you've not tried it before, if you like citrusy, fruity smells, in fact, don't buy it because then there'll be more in the shops for me. Talking of smells, now this next one is very subjective, let's call it. I actually only bought it to talk about on here. I can't believe I've paid out for it and bought it, to be honest. <laughs> it's called Poodle Loo. And it is a before you poo loo spray. <laughs> My goodness me, I cannot believe it in lemon. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, spray the loo so you can't smell the poo. 99 pence that ripped me off, for the sakes of you. Uh, but yeah, I did have a little squirt in the shop and it smelled quite nice. Um, so I may keep that in my handbag, just in case there are any awkward situations. There's nothing worse, is there, than needing to go to the toilet and worrying about what's going on after. Uh, yeah, I am quite a private person when it comes to that, so I tend to not to uh, do those sort of things outside of the house. But uh, sometimes you get caught out, so I've got this to have a little smell of. Right, I am going to squirt it, actually. What can I squirt it on? Let's give it a go on this tissue. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. Well, that's quite nice, actually. I think it's it's quite pungent, so it's got to be quite pungent, hasn't it, to mask those smells. Yeah, very citrusy and lemony. Might be my new favourite uh, <laughs> anti-back spray. No, it's not anti-back, it's just, what's in it? Just lemon. Hmm, not quite sure what it is. Anyway, it's got a hundred squirts in it. 
So uh, if you are anywhere near me and you can smell this <laughs> lemony smell, you may know what's been going down. The toilet. And talking of toilets, uh, Alan's quite keen on these. He likes these. These are the Duck Fresh Discs. Um, these are the refills. You have to buy the actual gadget to start with and then these are the refills that go in after. They do take a little bit of uh, practice actually. I have used and wasted quite a few on toilets previously when I've not got the machine quite right. Uh, if you're not sure what these are, I'll just whip them out of the box. So I haven't got the actual gadget here, um, but you put that in another machine and then as you press it down, it ejects like a little jelly disc that sits on like the inside of your toilet underneath the rim and then when you brush uh, flush the toilet it just goes over it and creates a bit of foam and a nice smell these are these are lime i really like these ones um they do 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 them in different different fragrances but this is my favorite 279 for a two refill pack um i don't how long do they last for up to 15 weeks per no they don't there's no way they last that long. And if you start using a toilet brush, you either have to go around it or you end up squishing it off. But they last for a couple of weeks, I reckon. We get through a lot of stuff like this because we've got four toilets. Some socks. Yes, this is the state I bought them in. But I hope nobody's had them on the feet. I was drawn by these. I love these spotty socks. Really like them. And they're just getting rid of some winter stocking pound stretcher at the moment. Should have been 2 99 got 25% off them. Uh, fresher feet, antibacterial finish. Five pairs. Uh, let's get those out and have a look. Oh, no, I won't, actually. So you've got stripey. Yes, I will. You can't see them. Hmm, comes on a very snazzy uh, hanger. So you've got the, the spotty ones that were my faves. I don't think anybody's had those on. More spots, but with grey. Big pair of stripey. Oh, they're good, aren't they? Look at those two types of stripe. Woohoo! I quite like those. Hearts on grey. And then some more stripey, grey and white. So, yeah, five pairs of those. About £2.25. They're really nice, aren't they? Again, I think they're a lovely present. But not if you've got one hanging out the uh, wrapper. And then I saw this. It was actually advertised as... Uh, Mascara. Yeah, they had a few of these packs. This is like what they're doing. Poundland. Didn't have much stuff. So it's only 50p, so I thought I'd pick it up to have a look, especially because it's blonde. And uh, bourgeois, that's a good make, isn't it? So let's have a look. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bit gingery. Oh my goodness. Do you know what? Does it say brow? Yes, it does say brow. I'm wondering if it was a bit more of a fancy uh, mascara. No wonder they're selling that off. That's absolute rubbish. Oh my goodness. It's all dried up. I think I might try and take that back. <laughs> 50p. No, it's gingery. I know I am a bit of a ginge, but no. We'll class that one as a fail. And then the saga continues with the storage so i think on my last i can't remember where i'm at with these now on the last haul i can't remember whether i bought these or I bought the white one so they're storage baskets and i went in got a white one they only had one white so i went and bought i went in again they only had the gray so i had one white two gray and i thought these will do because look they look really nice but when I filled them with all this stuff and put them under this um, counter where I am now, where my makeup is, I don't know, just from the sides, they're you know, not that well made to be honest. They just didn't look very nice. And I thought, no, it's the white ones I want. Anyway, I went back in the other day and there they were. In fact, they had three. They put the chart price at the Cheeky Rascals on the... Um, the display it said five ninety nine, so five ninety nine each. So they're not cheap. Uh, and then it, on the tag it said six ninety nine, and I thought, well, it says five ninety nine. You're supposed to honour your prices. Went to the till. I said, oh, can you tell me how much those are, please? And he said, oh yeah, it's on the tag six ninety nine. I said, no, your thing says five ninety nine. No, it's got six ninety nine. Anyway, it's to and fro in. 
I said, I paid 5 99 when I came in the other day. It says 5 99 on there. I only bought some last week. Oh, well, it's all new stock that's coming in. New stock's coming in more expensive. I said, well, you need to be changing your price tags, don't you? Yeah, well, this is how it is, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I wasn't happy about it. So off somebody went to check it out. She came back. She said the same thing. And then after giving me grief, he then said, well, can we mark it down for her and give her them for 5 99 I thought, why did you just give me that grief? You could have just done that from the beginning. Anyway, so I've got now, oh dear, I've got three white. This is a lot of storage. Three white, two grey. But I've got so much stuff now with doing these videos. I keep buying stuff. I need to sort out some serious storage solutions in this room because it's getting overrun. And then I saw these as well. I thought these were really nice. I know back um, a while ago in Poundland, everybody was after the sort of rose gold ones. Um, these are really nice, actually. They sort of... I don't know what colour you'd call it. They've got a sort, sort of the pink diamond on the top. But this... It's, it's not bronze. It's like a bronzy pink. But I did check that they both worked. Rose gold there. Uh, 79 pence each so I've just picked those up to go in a giveaway at some point I thought they were quite uh, quite spangly and then just one last item a shower cap look at that <laughs> oh dear oh dear yeah I do uh, well that's gosh room hair <laughs> So, I don't wash my hair every day, I have said that, I wash it a couple of times a week. So, I do tend to wear a shower cap just over here to stop it all getting wet. They don't last very long, do they? The one I've got at the minute, I have from, um, from Primark, and it was a see-through one, quite nice, but it's gone all dingy colouring. So, I thought I'd pick this one up, it's got all bits of crap hanging off it. So, I saw this one, I thought I'd pick it up, it's sort of a silver with the white polka dot, uh, and then it's got... The plastic inside so i hate it when alan catches me wearing these because they're just not the most attractive anyway this one was only 79p so uh sa a, sh a satin shower cap one size fits all so that's it that's that haul a little bit uh a bit leery on that one. Oh, look at the state of me i'm all over the place anyway just a quick 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 haul because i just got a few bits there but i thought i would uh pop on and show you them. So I hope you've enjoyed that one. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Uh, the numbers are growing a little, which is really good news. And if you want to pop me a comment below, I'll always write back to you. I'm really enjoying getting to know a few more of you. Um, got a few more regulars now. I'm loving it. Uh, and I actually got recognised in the street the other day. I couldn't believe it. So if you're the lady that I keep waving at now, please just Say hello underneath because I don't know your name and I would at least like to, hello Jean, hello Sue, whatever it is. Uh, I tend to see her most weeks when I'm on the way back from the gym um, and we stopped in our little chat and it, oh, it made my day. I couldn't believe it. I came home, told Alan, he was as excited as me. He was like, yeah, finally made it in life. So uh, anyway, yes, digress. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.